the colors after. C'est ça important, je pense. Yeah. Mais ils ont des jolies mailles. Mais c'est ça, vraiment. Euh, c'est ça, ça comment ça marche à votre souvenir. C'est ce que tu as fait. Oh, mais oui, c'est un peu un costume. Mais il n'y a pas. Il n'y a pas. Il n'y a pas. Good morning, friends. So today is the last day that I'm at the art residency. I haven't checked in in a few days just because a lot of has happened and um, and it's been a bit crazy. And I've just been trying to just been trying to enjoy my last days here. Um, we had like a little dinner last night, which was really cute. And then tonight we're gonna go um, to like the one <laughs> the one restaurant that's open here. So there used to be like a little uh, supermarket that was in the village, but after COVID they closed. So it's really, if you don't have food for the week, you're like really fucked. And, um, but there is like one little cafe that opens on the weekend. So my flight is tomorrow. Um, I feel like every time I come to Iceland and why I love this country so much is I feel like there's so much healing that happens here in a really weird way. And I think it might be, um, part of it because of the beautiful land, but also I think that here I'm forced to disconnect from my life in Paris and the city life. And I was thinking about um, something this morning and I wrote it in my notes app and um, I wanted to talk about it, which is thoughts on empowerment versus disempowerment as an artist. I feel my best when I feel this sense of empowerment and freedom when I'm doing things outside the box, when I'm not trying to fit into any system. For example, even like YouTube is a system because as much as it's a tool to be able to post online and connect to other people, you know, you are punished in some ways if you don't follow the algorithm, um, what the algorithm wants, or, you know, in the music industry or even the art world, um, I don't like playing by the rules because I feel like it keeps me from really expanding. And so I think that whenever we feel sad in life or whenever we feel stuck, it's always because we feel disempowered, um, whether you're an artist or not. And so I was thinking about in any situation, whenever you feel like that, always ask yourself, how can I empower myself in this moment? Which is why I think over these last five years, I have done things myself, like I've self-published. I didn't wait for somebody to give me permission. Um, I started learning how to play the guitar myself and putting out music. Um, I didn't wait for someone to say that it was okay. And I think it's because all of those actions lead me to a place of feeling empowered. Like I don't need someone else to tell me that it's okay. And so, yeah, I just wanted to ask you like in your life right now, where do you feel stuck? Because I think that if you do feel that way, it's probably coming from a place of feeling disempowered and a lack of control over your own life. Um, so I think that whenever we can shift the energy and say, how can I feel in this moment? Um, like I am responsible for the energy and I'm moving things forward. Um, I was also feeling like this as well because um, actually I only came for two weeks this time because I was supposed to go back to do this showcase at the art res at the music residency I was accepted to this year at the end of March. And I just got an email that it was pushed back until April, which was a bit disappointing because I'm like, I've been preparing this whole time. Like um, I felt in that sense kind of disempowered. All right, Shana from the future here coming in to say that the fact that that showcase was pushed back was like the best thing ever because it inspired me to empower myself and actually organize my own concert. Um, so I have a release party the 30th of March in Paris at the Tony Collective. I'll put the information down below as well as the 10th of May at the Sud Pigal. Um, and so that is just another way that sometimes rejection is protection. Sometimes things don't work out to sort of push us to do something bigger and better, you know? So I'm super excited. Um, I have an amazing bassist and we're just like two girls on stage doing like punk rock cool stuff it's like electronic but also like conceptually driven i have like a story around each song so definitely come um, and the song that's coming out this friday is called fuck the art world all about that about breaking the systems that are in place to keep us small and deciding to do things our own way so yeah anyway
back to the Iceland vlog. Yeah, and so all of these things feel outside of my control, but at the same time, I'm like, look, whenever something in your life feels difficult or feels like there's tension, I think you have to focus on the aspects of your life that are working. For example, for some reason, I feel like the music industry and all of that feels like a lot more having to rely on other people, which I don't like. And so I've just been asking myself, like, how can I make actions to feel more empowered as an artist presently? And I think for me, it's taking the energy away from places that don't feel like a hug, like don't feel good to me and reorienting, reorienting my energy towards the things that do feel like they're flowing. And it's always when we take our energy away from things that they end up coming to us, which is so funny because like, I remember, for example, my journals, um, like a few months ago, were just doing so well and I wasn't really promoting them that much or like putting that much pressure on it. And I think that's because of that, like people can sense our energy when we're really trying at something and it's like we're chasing this dog and the dog runs away from us. But when we actually empower ourselves and put the energy um, into ourselves instead of, you know, asking others if we can join their party, if we start our own party, then I think that's a way that we can actually feel like strong and confident. And I never want to feel like I'm relying on other people for my dreams to come true, you know? And I feel like that's an amazing lesson to learn as an artist and something, you know, that I've been thinking about lately because I want to feel day to day, like in a flow state and happy and inspired. And I think it's really hard to do that when you're just always, um, focusing on things that are out of your control, you know? So how can you make the most of your situation today? And whether that's with small disappointments, like obviously I would have loved to do that showcase at the end of the month because I've been preparing for it, but that's fine because I know that no matter what, I'm gonna be successful. And I think like a few years ago, I would have taken that as like sounding like, oh wow, she's so confident. Like I'm gonna be, conf I'm gonna be successful no matter what. But now it's more coming from a place of, I believe in myself and I, whether, no matter what I do, I will be successful because I am going to empower myself. And I think that you guys should do the same, empower yourself. And yeah, so a few disappointments while I was here, but at the same time, it also is teaching me a really valuable lesson. Like I wouldn't, I don't think, have come to this moment of, hey, Shayna, like day to day, don't you wanna feel happy? Like, don't you wanna wake up and like, go into your kitchen and make a coffee and paint for a few hours. And it's always, it's always through adversity that we learn these types of lessons. And that's why we must be grateful for moments of our life in adversity because, you know, if everything was easy and everything was like, you know, everything was working out without having these moments of doubt and fragility, I think that we wouldn't come to the point of questioning ourselves. We wouldn't come to the point of questioning the systems that we're in. You know, like I, my next one coming out is called Fuck the Art World. And that came from a moment in my life where I really felt like I was not enjoying trying to be a part of this system that is created to keep us small in a sense as independent. Like the systems that exist do not like people like you and me who are go-getters and want to sort of create our own systems. And so I wrote this song and I really like this song. I'm excited for it to come out, but I would never have written it had I not had these moments of adversity. So I think the important thing is to remember is you can always, no matter what situation you're in, Retire ton energy. You can always take your energy back to you. An affirmation I love is I take all energy off others and different circumstances and I return it to myself now. Um, I think that's why I love haircuts so much. Like I can't, I think I'm going to go back to Paris and like change my hair up because it's like you're like, boom, new energy, you know? And maybe that's like a, in a superficial sense, but also ask yourself, how can I have the most fun in this moment right now? For example, like I think I talked about this in another vlog, but the other day I went down to the concert hall and I was just practicing, but it felt very repetitive. And then I just found this little drape and I put it over my head and I was having like the best time after that. And it's because I 
empowered myself by having fun, you know? Anyway, these are just a few of the things I've been thinking about and um, really asking myself, how can I day to day find a system that works for me for me to feel empowered and happy as an artist and not just chasing like goals all the time. Like that is not what I want and it's really not worth it because honestly, like there's just gonna be the next one and the next one and the next one. And I actually wanna be happy while I'm alive. Wow, <laughs> you know? Anyway, anyway, um, my computer just died, which is not cute. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to go down to the factory. Oh my God, I'm editing a video. I'm going down to, um, going down to the art studio for the last time. They're going to do like an inter a little interview at the fish factory. Even like being here is crazy. Like if you would have told me last year that I could go to Iceland and, and do this, it's like, always remember like, come back to the present moment. Like there's always, our brain wants to trick us into being like in a place of lack but we're not doing that um anyway so i'm gonna go down to the uh residency they're gonna do like a little interview i guess it's like the end of my residency and uh tomorrow i'm gonna leave and go back to paris so anyway i hope that you guys have enjoyed this this little mini series in iceland i I've honestly really enjoyed being here. I'm excited to go back and have like my own place again because I love waking up and just being in like an empty house. Yeah, I'm very used to being alone at this point. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And um, I hope that some of the things I've learned here have been interesting. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy these vlogs, make sure to subscribe. Um, I also have a Patreon if you want to support what I'm doing and we're also doing like Paris meetups and I post podcast episodes and it's a really great way I think as well to find like-minded people online. Uh, I also have a journal series out if you want to check that out and follow me on Instagram. Go listen to my music if you like really cool music and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye! The oh, only God. one I can <laughs> <laughs> You still the one I can Good.